their friends. So guys, a week ago or whatever, I don't know, maybe it was two weeks ago, I did a video where I went to the drugstore and I found a bunch of hair products that I wanted to try out. You wanted to try it. Wanted to try it out. I liked a lot of them. I didn't like a lot of them. And a lot of you guys were a little upset about the dry shampoos. The Batiste that. dry shampoo, everybody loves. I didn't like it. Not your mother's dry shampoo. I didn't like it. So today, I'm going to be picking out about 30 dry shampoos. 30? Yeah. A lot. I want to give them a fair try, you know, a fair shot. Let's see which ranks supreme, supreme. Among, among them all. Who is the finest dry shampoo of them all? We'll find out today on Rai Mondo's YouTube channel. Let's go. Let's go. I really went for it today with this one. <laughs> oh, I spent um nearly $300 on dry shampoo today and I feel good about that. Oh my gosh, there's every brand you could possibly imagine in here. Every drugstore dry shampoo I could find in New York City basically. So I'm here to help you today. I'm here to test them all for you so you don't have to waste $300 trying them all. And we're gonna find out which one is the best overall that works on brown hair and blonde hair because there is a big difference when you're using dry shampoo on brown hair because usually it like turns the hair white. We'll see what happens, but I'm excited. I love getting experience with more products. So we'll try each brand. We'll figure out which one's the best from each of those brands and then we'll go through all the rest of them and we'll compare them all side by side and see which one is the best of the best dry shampoo. And if you guys didn't see my last video where I tried drugstore hair products, I tried a lot of different products in that video. It'll be linked below also. But in that video, I tried out this one, the Fiberful Dry Shampoo Foam by OGX and I absolutely am obsessed with it. I've been using it ever since. And I won't be comparing this one today to any of the other ones, but um, if you like foam dry shampoos, this is Bay. But otherwise, I'm gonna be comparing all aerosols today. That way I keep it fair. And I'm so stoked about it. So let's do this. I'm gonna grab my Miss Many Queens today. And let's get to it. Wow, so this looks mad creepy. Welcome to my shop. Uh, so we have our two mannequins here, and as you can see, they both have different hair. One brown, one blonde, like I said. They both have very, very greasy hair. I did douse their hair with oil before this. That way they were nice and prepared to take in some dry shampoo, and you can really try and see what happens when your hair is very oily and you use these dry shampoos. So let's do this. Let's first start on the blonde one and we'll move to the brown one and back and forth and back and forth and let's get testing and see which dry shampoo is the best. Okay, category is not your mother's. All right, cool. I did test this in my last video, but I'm willing to give it another try. I didn't exactly like them last time, but a lot of you have a lot to say about that. Um, and we're gonna do it again because I believe in second chances, all right? Okay, so the first one we have here is Not Your Mother's, I just said that. Refreshing dry shampoo absorbs excess oils, fresh volume leaves no residue, and it's the unscented one. So also, let's read the directions really quick. Shake vigorously, spray generous amounts on root, Throughout the hair, if needed, work with fingers, brush through to fuse the powder, and watch it absorb excess oil. Style as desired. Okay. Shaking vigorously. I know it doesn't look like I'm spraying very far on camera. I swear, girl, I'm spraying so far away in real life. Okay, and there is a white residue. 
Okay, I'm gonna say it really helps when you brush it. It really helps get rid of that white residue. I definitely still see it. And it definitely absorbed the oils without giving it too much like texture. Sometimes the dry shampoos give a lot of like grit. So that was decent. Now let's try the other one, see if there's any difference between the two. This one is the original. So this is the unscented and this is the original. So it's the same formula with different scent. Maybe this one's more pleasant. I really didn't smell Literally, there's no scent to that one, which I really enjoy. Okay, this one, yeah, kind of gross scent. Kind of nice though. I'm actually having a way better experience with this this time than last time. Not your mother's, I'm so sorry for the last review I gave you. It's actually not a bad product. Listen, I apologize. It really helps when you brush it out. Really not bad at all. <laughs> I'm kind of shook. And it didn't really leave a residue, really absorbed the oils. Okay, listen, it was good, but I'm not sure yet if it was the best. I'm very shocked that I like this one because I really did not like it last time. So weird. We saw it worked on blonde hair. I mean, that's the easy one, right? Let's see what happens when we do it on the brunette lady right here. I mean, it is quite a white cast, but let's see if brushing it out really helps a lot. It, it like works nicely, but for some reason it's like the hair fibers are getting little white dots all over them. And if you kind of like really rake it out with your hands, it gets rid of them, but it's not bad. Like I'm not saying this is a bad product. Like I'm actually quite impressed with it today, but let's try the original one on the other side and see how this performs. They're both pretty much the same with different scents except they must have changed something in the formula to get rid of the scent completely, but it pretty much works the same. I mean, it works, but the residue ain't cute, honey. Not my favorite. Overall, so far, these are decent. I'm gonna say that I judged this brand's dry shampoo too hard in my last video. I have changed my mind a bit. Still not so impressed with them. I feel like we can definitely do better. I'm gonna bring the unscented with me to the next round. And I'm gonna leave the original behind because I definitely prefer the unscented better. I think it actually works better. And the original scent, not really a fan of baby powder scent. So let's move on. So the next category is a big one. And it's a controversial one because last time, Last time I, last time I reviewed this one, y'all weren't happy with me. And I saw that coming. I knew that was gonna happen. I really did. Um, but it's Batista. And we have a lot of different options here. Here we are. Let's start in the blonde mannequin and move forward. So here's our first section and we are gonna use the volumizing one first. It removes oil to give hair show-stopping volume with collagen added into it. It says shake well, hold it 12 inches away from the head, massage and brush through to refresh and volumize. Okay, seems to be a theme and we should shake these all very well. All right, oh, I actually really like this nozzle on this. Ooh, ooh, wait, they're not all like this, are they? No, they're not. Really like this nozzle. It's like a jet, it's like a jet stream of Dry shampoo. Okay, this actually smells really good. Not much of a residue. Okay, hold on, Batiste. Again, judge them very hard in the, in the last video, but I also didn't use this one. If you spray at all too close, you get white. That is sort of normal with dry shampoo, but some of them just leave less of a white cast than others. Oh, oh, though. So. If you're looking for this to give you volume, girl, I don't feel any volume in there. I don't feel like that added anything. I mean, any dry shampoo will give you a bit of volume because it's adding basically powder into your hair and it's acting as like a fluffer in your hair. But overall, whoa, impressed. Really great nozzle. I love good nozzles. This is definitely some stiff competition now. Kind of shook about that one. Okay, this is the clean and light bear version. Get the award winning dry shampoo in a clean and light fragrance and won't overpower your perfume. Whoa, bro. There's dry shampoo on everything in my studio right now. Okay, so immediately this one has way more of a cast of white. It does brush out again, but yeah, pretty much the same thing. I feel like the other one feels a little bit softer or something. Also, girl, this is not a light scent. <laughs> this is highly scented. Definitely doesn't compare it to the volume one. I don't think any of these are, but let's keep working through. This is called Light and Breezy Fresh. This is also a different scent. So right now we're at this point, we're just kind of trying scent. So let's keep trying the scent. Ugh. I don't know. Can we just go through these faster? I don't, I just, 
I don't, the scent is like too much, man. This is the tropical version. This is coconut um, scent. Ugh. I mean, if you really like coconut, this is your girl. But uh, otherwise, I'm gonna have to say no on this one. This is the original, which I used in my last video. And let's smell this one again. Oh my God, look at my phone. Look at the white cast. I hope you can see that on camera. Oh my God, my table is covered in like snow right now. Look at this. This is great, awesome, okay. Okay, actually, this one isn't bad. The scent is pretty nice, light, and clean. Let's pull the dark mannequin and quickly run through this one. <laughs> God, it really, really made her hair a lot whiter. Let's keep going. I don't know, this is a little, not very good for dark hair, but we do have one for dark hair that we're gonna try. Ah! Girl, that was one little squirt. I mean, this leaves quite a bit of white residue on brown hair. I'm very far away from the hair, okay? I mean, you can just see all these little dots and like a super, super white cast on there, which is fine. I mean, like if you don't mind your hair not looking perfect, like it's not a bad dry shampoo. The volume one I like, I just, it really left a white cast again, but they do have one for brown hair. So let's see what happens when we use this. Okay, wow. So the dark hair one, Divine Dark, is really, really good for dark hair. We're gonna bring these two to the next round and Batiste, you are kind of killing it today. Let's move on. And category is Dove. I didn't really know Dove made hair products for a while, but now I do. We're gonna try the detox and purifying dry shampoo first. It's refresh hair and absorb oils with no visible residue. We're gonna test that. Uh, so this one really claims to have no residues. We're gonna see what happens here. I mean, I see a residue. It's definitely not a bad residue. Mm, kind of a weird fragrance. Definitely leaves the hair soft. Okay, I do like this one. I think it has a very, very strong fragrance to it, but let's keep trying other ones. This is the fresh coconut one. Let's see how this coconut smells like. Okay, I will say this one leaves much less of a residue than the other ones I tried, so I will give them that. However, I, I do like the coconut one better than the, um, the detox and purify. The smell is a bit better. And lastly, let's try the volume and fullness. This is just supposed to give you a little bit of volume and fullness. Okay, they all kind of smell like candy. I'm not exactly feeling any more of a grip on this one than the other ones. The only difference in the ingredient list is silica on the volumizing one. And I looked up what silica is. Apparently it's supposed to rebuild your hair. So I guess it doesn't exactly just give you volume right away, but it's more of a timely thing that maybe you'll get more hair well, if you use this, but I kind of maybe doubt that. I don't know, it doesn't seem like the worst thing in the world. Okay, now let's try it on the brown head and see what happens on that one. Cause most of you guys have brown hair. Okay, so this one definitely leaves really no residue on brown hair. However, it doesn't exactly evaporate the oils as well, but I'm willing to sacrifice that for no residue. See, like this is actually really great. There's none of that like clumping going on like Batiste had. This is really, really good. Now let's just try the volumizing one over here. Okay, really, really impressed with Dove here. I'm gonna go with this one, the Volume and Fullness Dry Shampoo. I decided I really like the scent of this one and if they're claiming it will rebuild your hair, I'm all for it. Alrighty, let's give the Tea Tree Mint one a chance. It has peppermint oil, tea tree oil, and witch hazel. This dry shampoo instantly absorbs oils and enhances style with an invigorating scent. Not really into tea tree, but if you guys like mint, maybe this is your girl. Immediately it's leaving much more of a cast than the Dove one. <laughs> Actually kind of into the mint scent. It's very different for a dry shampoo, except I feel like it's a little intoxicating. And it's like, why would you want your hair to smell like mint? Pretty nice though, like not bad. Now let's try the next one, which has coconut oil essence of tear. Okay, so it's coconut and vanilla scented. Huh. I definitely like this one better. It actually worked quite nicely, but I, I know it doesn't come across on camera very well, but you can see little clumps of white in the hair. I don't know exactly what in the formula makes that happen, but for some reason that didn't happen with the Dove Dry Shampoo, which I'm very shocked about. I thought they were all gonna do that. Let's give it a shot in the dark hair now. Okay, heavy residue on that. Ooh, no, 
girl, that ain't it. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Let's try the other one. No, okay. The coconut oil one, not too bad. It leaves a heavy cast and those dots in the hair. But we're gonna take the coconut oil one along with us on this ride and we're gonna go and get rid of this one. All right, so up next we have Pantene. This is the Pro-V Dry Shampoo. No water with fresh. Gives your hair a fresh look, even on the second day. And this one is the volume one. Let's see what, let's see what the difference is in this one. Let me read this again. Oh, Pantene, what's going on here? This one's for volume, and this one's no water refresh, but they do have the exact same ingredients. Unless I'm crazy, maybe one has less of something, and I don't know, but seems like they just changed the packaging maybe. But let's give them a try. Wow, that actually worked very nicely. It's not like a luxury smell and you're not paying luxury a price. So I totally get that. Just not my favorite smell, but not bad. And let's try the other one, which is just the regular one. This is the volumizing one. And this is the regular. Wow, these are actually really good. Okay, let's move on to the brown hair. So it didn't leave like any residue on the brown hair. <laughs> really like these. They're a bit more of a wet formula. You can feel that there's more alcohol in these, which I tend to like because it does a good job of drying out the hair without leaving the white cast on it. Really like this. I'm gonna go with the volume one. Quite impressed with Pantene here. Next is one that I have never used before, but it is called Hask. We have four different types here and let's get to it. Let's try them out. We have the coconut, which I found that I, that I don't really like these ones, but we will give this one a try. Just reminds me too much of like going tanning when I was younger, like just unhealthiness. No cast, no residue, love that. Let's move on though, don't like this scent very much. This is the purifying dry shampoo. And this one has charcoal and citrus. Ah, I love charcoal and citrus. Ooh, quite a nice smell though. Hardly any residue, huh, like this. This is the volumizing one. This one has chia seed oil. So for whatever reason, this one is just not really like absorbing the oils very well. I don't know, this one acted different. Maybe it's just me, but didn't really like that one. This one has biotin in it. This is the thickening one. Guys, spraying biotin in your hair, not gonna make a difference. You have to consume biotin, but we'll see. Again? Not really absorbing that well, but these ones do by far have the best scents out of any of these products. So if you're really into scents, maybe go with this line. What the hell? This isn't working at all. <laughs> really disappointed because the scents are really nice. And it's also like leaving the worst cast. Nah, man, this ain't it. I mean, we'll keep going, but like, this ain't it. Ew. Your scents are great, but holy residue, not pretty, clumps up, does not even absorb the oils, really. I'm gonna have to say I don't really wanna even bring any of these into the next round. Like, I really Aww. don't like these. I'm not impressed. Okay, up next we have Tresemme, between washes. Okay. Quite a strong scent. Very nice. Ooh, girl, they got good chemists on these. Those never ending budgets. Ooh, nice. Fruity, pretty clean smelling, kind of nice. Doesn't leave a residue on the blonde hair. Let's try it on the dark hair now. These work quite nicely. Doesn't leave a residue until you brush it out, but that's fine. But it doesn't like clump up. It absorbs oils nicely. I like this. Let's keep this one. This one's good too, but we're going with it. All right, so we have completed all of the different brands that we had, and now we have one-offs of everything. We have seven more to go. I'm gonna run through this really fast. Let's complete this. Let's try the Nexus one out first. Dry shampoo refreshing mist with pearl extract. I feel like I keep spraying this one and nothing's really happening more. A little bit of residue, not much. I feel like I'm having to spray a lot of this on for it to do anything to the hair. I don't know, it doesn't really seem to work that well. Toss this one. All right, and now we have the Aussie Clean Volume Dry Shampoo made with Australian sea kelp, full cleansing. 
Dude, Aussie is killing it. It's the one that has more alcohol in it. It wets the hair a little bit and kind of like can really smell a more alcoholiness thing coming off of it. <laughs> I'm going crazy. I've been sucking these fumes in for an hour and a half now. It pretty much left no residue. It smells nice. I really love this. <laughs> Staying with me. Okay, up next is the Herbal Essence, Volume White Grapefruit, and Mosa Mint. Same thing, you guys. Really nice. This has like a mint scent to it, so if you don't like mint, probably not your girl, but really good. Okay, now that I'm going fully insane, and these fumes are making me really loopy, we're gonna now try the Big Sexy Hair Dry Shampoo. Okay, um, so I do like this one. It's pretty good. The scent, however, could really use an upgrade. It does work nicely, doesn't leave a residue. I definitely don't hate it at all. Just doesn't compare scent-wise, so I'm gonna have to get rid of this one. Just not as good, you know? Okay, I feel like this is definitely one that you guys have been waiting for, which is the Volume and Fullness Dry Shampoo with Chia Seeds, Cloudberry, Nourishing Weightless, Normal to Oily Hair, and a lot of people live for this stuff, so. Have seen better. Left a cast, left those little dots all over the hair. Smells like kind of bad. Nah, dude, not for me, I'm sorry. Up next, Suave. Salon proven, <laughs> dry shampoo. I can't even read anymore. Actually, I never could re re read. Absorbs oils and freshest hair between washes. Let's give it a trot. Wow, very strong citrus smell. I really like citrus, so I'm gonna say I like that one. Whoa, really nice. Like this so far. Yeah, not as good on the brown hair. Do like the scent, works good on blonde hair, but overall not like the absolute best. So for that, I'm gonna have to get rid of this. All right, and our last and final 28th dry shampoo. This is L'Oreal Long Wear Dry Shampoo. It refreshes and extends style and absorbs oil. Cool bottle, let's give it a shot. <laughs> This one literally isn't doing anything. Not a ton of oil absorption. Like pretty much nothing. Not into this. Let's toss this one. And here we have the final nine. This one kind of doesn't really count. We'll talk about it in a second. These are what I picked. We have Tresemme, we have OGX, we have Batiste. Surprise, surprise. We have Pantene, we have Dove, we have Not Your Mother's, also a surprise. We have Herbal Essence and we have Aussie and Batiste over here. But again, we'll talk about that in a second. Here are my top picks for best drugstore dry shampoos. Oh, I took a little break. I'm feeling more clear headed now. I'm gonna order them on the table here from least expensive to most expensive. Okay, so here we are. Least expensive all the way up to most expensive. So this is quite interesting. Aussie, $6.29. Holy crap, that is so cheap. Pantene is $7.99. Dove is $7.99. Not Your Mother's is $7.99. Herbal Essence is $8.49. Tresemme is $8.99. Batiste Volumizing is $10.49. Batiste Dark Brown is $10.99. And last is OGX, and it is $10.49. Now, these are all pretty good prices for drugstore brands. And with drugstore brands, you're not always getting premium quality, and that is why they can bring down the price a lot. But if you are trying to ball on a budget, and you know, you can't afford salon quality, which I do ultimately recommend salon quality, but I know that everybody doesn't want to splurge on that all the time. Let's reorganize them based on how much product is in each of them. Okay, I've reordered them from least amount of product to most amount of product in the cans based on fluid ounces. Let's do the reveal now. So this has the least, which is 4.3 ounces, Tresemme. This has 4.9 ounces, Aussie. This has 4.9 ounces. This has 4.9 ounces. OGX has five ounces of product. Dove has five ounces of product. Batiste has 6.73 ounces of product. Batiste Brown has 6.73 fluid ounces. And lastly, Not Your Mother's has the most product, which is seven ounces of product. <sighs> As you can see, these were the two cheapest products and they are the, one of the three with the least amount of product. So that makes sense to me. Tresemme with the least amount of product and up there on price point. 
I'm gonna have to say, I'm gonna get rid of this one. Cause $9 for this much product doesn't compare to the other ones. I mean, you're still really good, but you're out. This one keeps falling right in the middle, kind of like a medium price point and medium amount of product. So I'm gonna say that one's pretty great. Now the OGX one is in the middle. How can you have less ounces of product and be more expensive? Though the packaging is quite beautiful and the scent's quite nice. So I appreciate this brand, but for today's experiment, we're gonna say it's not the totally best option at the drugstore. Okay, so now this one is so dope. I'm feeling like I know what my favorite is. I don't know. Dove, one of the least expensive ones and has a lot of product in it. So this one is gonna go forward. Batista actually is kind of expensive. Not actually expensive, but compared to these products, it's expensive. But it also has nearly the most product in it. So I'm not mad at that price. I really like this nozzle. So I'm gonna put this one forward. That was a standout for me. This one is great for brown hair, but I'm gonna have to, you know, only take, pick one Batiste product. We're gonna keep this volumizing one. It's better and it works on brown hair too. And lastly, this is cool. This one has the most product, in it, but this one has seven ounces of product, huge can. I like this one, except it definitely had more residue than these other products. So I'm just gonna have to say, maybe not today, but a great product. All right, guys, so overall, these are gonna have to be my top five picks. I set out on this video to pick one, which is the best, but these are my top five drugstore dry shampoos that I really, really enjoyed for all different reasons. I mean, this one has a nice alcohol formula. This one, I believe, did two, and I like that because it doesn't leave any residue at all. This one also did two, and it has a really nice scent, and it's a little more natural. This one has a great price point and great amount of product in the can. I I, like, I just love this one because of the nozzle and it worked quite well and I feel like you can find this in a lot of different places. So these are my top five picks for drugstore dry shampoo. Ta-da, these are them. All right, hopefully you can find one of these at your local drugstore. And that is all for me today. If you guys wanna see me do another one of these videos where I test out some other kind of product, whether that be shampoo, conditioner, anything, let me know which one you wanna see and I will do it. I will buy 28 more products and spend my entire day testing it again for you. Give this video a like, please, if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, BradMondoNYC, and my brand, XMondo Hair. For updates on new product launches coming soon, I swear, I'm working, I'm working really hard over here. And thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life and I will see you all next time.